came. So, this is our first lecture. So, uh, we would be first looking at functional programming and uh, the language that we will use is uh, is uh, standard ML. Okay. Standard ML, that's ML. Uh, ML stands for meta language. So this is the language that we will uh, we will be doing functional programming in. <coughs> okay. So uh, as far as we are concerned, there are two uh, implementations that you need to know about. One is SML NJ, the New York C1 implementation, and uh, ML10. Okay. And uh, you will need to know both of these because they serve slightly different purposes and it is good to know both of them. Okay. So let's first look at New Jersey uh, standard ML. It is mainly an interpreter. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, ML10 on the other hand is mainly a, is a compiler, full program compiler. Okay, so uh, that's the major difference, which means that uh, SMLNG is uh, is quick to use, okay, uh, and is good for interactive sessions. Okay, we'll see what interactive sessions are. Whereas ML10 is uh, uh, is a, is a slow to use by which I mean the compilation process is slow okay but then what it does is it does well is produces standalone fast executables okay uh, there is a way of uh, producing standalone code in SMLNG as well, but it is not recommended. Programs can be written, but not recommended. Okay. And how does the installation go? you type these commands so do apt install sml ng okay. and here the installation is yes, um, so do apt install Okay, so this is the overall difference. Okay, uh, and SMLNG is what you would use when you want to do it uh, to, to use it interactively. You want to write like, write some code quickly and check. You use SMLNG. Whereas Hamilton, you use for producing the final executable. Okay, so let's look at what an interactive session in SMLNG will look like. So let me open a terminal. this is the terminal I can type SML and it says SMLNG of New Jersey and version and things like that okay now I can use it like so the, the small dash that you see that's a prompt which says that I am ready okay. and you can evaluate let's say something like 23 plus uh, 19 or uh, 21 19 and you terminate it with a semicolon to say that oh, look I am done with uh, my input 
you please give me the answer of whatever i have given so far okay you can also write like x equal to 23 y y equal to 24 and then you want to define these two things and that means that x is 23 y is 24 x plus y is 47 yeah, this is how you use it ok so this is standard ml uh, interpreter if you want to use it on the terminal uh, so you might have noticed in your shell you can use this arrow command to go to look at uh, the old com commands that you typed ok up arrow and down arrow ok you can also do something like control r uh, P W T. Do that. It'll search backward and see if you have typed this command, which it'll show you. Okay. Unfortunately, this is because of something called read line. So if you try this in SML, you get some garbage. Okay. This is not good. So one problem with using SML directly on terminal is this. Okay. You can avoid that using something called read line wrap. Call it like this. Then let's see what happens. Y equal to y equal to one hundred one thousand. Yeah, now the arrow keys start working. Look, the previous command. Okay, you can search for the previous one card like Control R. So it gives you an interface similar to the shell. Okay. So my recommendation, therefore, is. Uh, Whenever you want to use uh, standard ML uh, on the terminal, you call it like this: RL wrap SML. Okay, that's that's the way to do it. Okay, so let's uh, just go back to our presentation and let's also install RL wrap. Okay, so this is interactive use. You give something it will directly evaluate it and show you okay. there is another way of interactively using it by uh, let's say i i open a file okay i define var x equal to 10 uh, y equal to 100 i can put this and then i can uh, this is my emacs buffer you can now see that on the bottom on the bottom you can see that there is this sml fly right it says that this sml it is in sml mode so it understands this code as sml and i can load it using control r Control C, Control L. If I do Control C, Control L, it will load it. Okay. So the command here is uh, Control C, Control L. If I type this, it will load it, and you can see things here. And I, I can evaluate X. Then it is like the SML. Uh, interactive session that you saw in the terminal so i can evaluate it uh, here the read line doesn't work but i can use the arrow for example i can take an old one and paste it here yeah, something like this i can change it to and then to something like this okay so i can this is one another way in which i can i can use the no standard ML, okay but uh, for this uh, to work uh, i will need the sml mode okay so the sml mode is the uh, um, interactive mode for SML in Emacs. Okay, so it says alpha SML mode. You can install it this way. Okay, so.
So this is how you can get a full-fledged uh, uh, SML interactive session either in Emacs or directly on Terminal. Okay, fine. So this is how you will use uh, SML. SML engine. Okay, uh, now I will tell you how to use Hamilton. Hamilton uh, you can use in a straightforward way. It is just uh, standard compilation. Okay. Uh, so here um, here is the file okay so this is the file foo.sml and you just compile it just compile it using uh, Hamilton using uh, the command mlton foo.sm okay. this takes some time so you can see that uh, makes sense to use uh, smlng for quick feedback okay. uh, but uh, it gives you a standalone uh, program which you can run so this is how mlton comes you can also set its um, uh, output name of who you can call it semi part yeah, you can uh, call it my prop now the executable will be there in my prop okay so this is how you use ml it's like a, like your c compiler that you have done here Okay, so uh, to conclude, uh, let me just summarize. Our uh, interactive is use SML. MLNG. Okay, this could be either um, on the terminal. So this could be either on terminal or in Emacs. And for uh, standalone compiling, this MLG. So this is what uh, I wanted to say.